Hello, today we are going to talk about the cinematic work of high caliber, a work that I appreciated very much. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't be fair if I say that the, the main character in this movie is Nola, darling. This lady veers between joy and panic. Uh, money changes art problems love sex you name it okay but the main idea i'm just stating my opinion here uh my reflection on this movie uh, or this serial if you like a number of series is about feminism being feminist being a woman all right because in this movie we have got uh, this lady Nola darling an artist who imposed if you like her character there her personality as a lady of arts and power and no space for discrimination no space for the margin or being marginalized no male dominance there is that space for love and respect tranquility and a sense of escapism okay so escapism and freedom in the first place because uh nola darling as a beautiful colored lady black lady black is beautiful all right and no space again for racism uh, she has got uh, these lovers here Mars Greer Jamie we can mention another lady trying to uh, have some sort of relationship with Nola darling Opal uh, because uh, at the end of the movie or at the end of this work Nola has decided to uh, to have a party to invite everybody to a party. Okay, except Opal, the Trinity came, and the were taken aback, shocked, surprised. Okay, because they didn't expect that. Every one of them expected himself to be there with Nola, but they were for their celebrating there is a <laughs> that mixture of shock uh, festivity dance love being jealous okay by the end Nola has managed to to make it uh, another interesting point in this work is education yeah being educated if you are educated that would be your knight in a shining armor if you like that would save your life okay so education and art being an artist being yourself yeah this is what counts actually being yourself because nola has decided to distance herself and even the act of making love should be in her space okay in her bed and she refused being uh, contained all right that's why she decided to taste if you like that hue of lesbianism between brackets and being with opal uh, and that's why also we have that open ending uh, the trinity those three mars Greer, Jamie left, when they left, Opal came and that's the last uh, part of the work. So roughly speaking this is it and there is that sense of black power and Africanity being an Afro-American or an African in America. Uh, and the work coincided with uh, Trump, the president of the States 
uh, Nola Darling stated her opinion clearly concerning that, uh, to be honest, that wouldn't be fair because this work deserves a lot of uh, analysis, but uh, this is just my, uh, as I said before, my reflection or my summary of the work, but one should go ahead and try to view it part by part to uh, but and I did that actually I did that and I love it I love this work here so that's all I have to say uh, concerning yeah there is an issue here which is a hot issue in the States or in the United States of America and it's a hot issue everywhere this issue of being homeless the man the homeless man in the movie or in the work is uh, an artist okay and everybody there respected that artist that man his artistry and i i appreciated that even when uh, a white lady uh, called the cops or the police to arrest the man for his troubles between brackets nola stepped in and refused that and she did her best to so as not to arrest that man and she presented herself to the police and at the end she did something great to set that man free so this is this is it this is my simple analysis of this work and it's a great work actually